today's video i am going to explain legendre's equation and this topic is from linear differential equations with constant quotients see here an equation of the form a plus bx par n into d par n plus p1 a plus bx par n minus 1 d par n minus 1 plus and so on pn of y is equal to q where p1 p2 and so on pn are the real constants and q is a function of x defined on an interval i is called legendre's linear differential equation see here this is solved by substituting a plus bx is equal to e power z and log of a plus bx is equal to z so using the substitution i am going to solve an legendre's equation see here when you check this one any equation which is of this form so we have a substitution here and I am going to solve the solution. See here, for this, here starts the solution. So as usual, so we have a solution here and a small substitution for this. That is x plus 3 whole square into d square is nothing but theta into theta minus 1. And x plus 3 into d is nothing but theta. And here, and we have x plus 3 is equal to e power z and log of x plus 3 is equal to z and this is the substitution which we have to put in the question so x plus 3 whole square d square can be replaced by theta into theta minus 1 so this is theta into theta minus 1 for plus 4 times of this is theta plus 6 of y is equal to log of x plus 3 is nothing but z so here it is z now, if I simplify this one, so this will be theta square minus theta minus 4 theta plus 6 of y is equal to z. And this will be theta square minus 5 theta plus 6 of y is equal to z. And see, for finding the complementary factor, we need the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m. See here, this is f of m is equal to 0. So, in place of theta, I am writing m square. So, this is m square minus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0. So, this is 1 into 6 is 6 and for the 6, the factors are 2 and 3. And we need minus 5 here. So, this is minus 3 and uh, minus 2. So, this is m square minus 2m minus 3m plus 6 is equal to 0. So, if I take m common, this will be m minus 2. Again, if I take minus 3 common, this will be m minus 2 is equal to 0. So, if I take m minus 2 common, so here it will be m minus 3. So, the roots are 2 comma 3. Therefore, yc can be written as c1 e power 2z and c2 e power 3z. And again, we have x plus 3 is equal to e power z. See here we have x plus 3 is equal to e power z. And now if you see here, so in place of, so in place of e power z, what we have to write? So we have to write yc is equal to, this is c1. What is e power z? This is x plus 3 whole square. And c2, this is x plus 3 whole cube. And this is equation number a. And this is nothing but the complementary factor and coming to particular integral yp is equal to this is 1 by theta square minus 5 theta plus 6 theta square minus 5 theta plus 6 into this one is z see here now i have to take 6 common so this will be 1 plus this is theta square minus 5 theta by 6 so if i multiply this is 6 and if i cancel this 6 in the numerator and denominator, here comes theta square minus 5z. So, if I take it to the numerator, that is 1 by 6 times of 1 plus this is theta square minus 5 theta by 6 whole inverse into z. And see for the expansion, 1 by 6 times of this is 1 minus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 into z. See here, yp value will be 1 by 6 times. So, if I multiply, this is z. And here, the second derivative is 0. So, this is 0 and the first derivative is 1 by 6. So, which is nothing but. So, yp value is 1 by 6 of z minus of minus plus 
5 by 6. And what is that z value here? So z value is nothing but 1 by 6 times of. So according to the substitution z is equal to log of x plus 3. Now I am substituting this is log of x plus 3 plus 5 by 6. So now the general solution y is equal to here I am writing yc plus yp. See as we have yc ready here. So yc can be so y the general solution. The general solution is equal to c1 x plus 3 whole square and c2 this is x plus 3 whole cube and see here this is 1 by 6 times of this is 1 by 6 times of log of x plus 3 plus if I multiply this will be 5 by 36 and this is the general solution and see here so this is a square for one time and cube for one time and this is how we have to solve and the next most important question here is the Legendre's equation see here here also there is a substitution so be very very careful here please catch one point I am telling you so here this is 2x plus 1 whole square into d square so what is the substitution which we have to make here so this is nothing but 2x plus 1 is equal to this is e power z and log of 2x plus 1 is nothing but z here so from this what is the value of x i need the value of x so this is 2x is equal to e power z minus 1 and x value is equal to e power z minus 1 divided by 2 and this is the x value and the next substitution here is 2x plus 1 whole square into d square is equal to here the quotient of x is equal to 2 and 2 square theta into theta minus 1 remember and this is 2x plus 1 into d so the quotient of x is 2 that is 2 power 1 into theta so please remember and this is the thing which we have to substitute in this equation now see here if i substitute what happens so in this we have to substitute 2 square so this is 2 square theta into this is theta minus 1 and this is 2 there is 2 here and here we have to substitute 2 theta minus 12 of y is equal to 6 times of what is x here according to this one the x value is 2z e power z minus 1 by 2 so 2 square so this is 2 square which is nothing but 4 theta into theta minus 1 minus 4 theta minus 12 of y is equal to if i cancel this for 3 times so this will be 3 times of this is e power z minus 1 so this will be 4 theta square minus 4 theta this is minus 4 theta plus 12 of y is equal to this is e 3 into e power z minus 3 and see here this is 4 theta square minus 8 theta minus 12 of y is equal to 3 into e power z minus 3 and see here now for finding the complementary factor we need the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation is nothing but f of m is equal to 0 so in place of theta i have to write m that is 4m square minus 8m minus 12 is equal to 0 so if i take 4 common m square minus 2m minus 3 is equal to 0 so this will be m square minus 2m minus 3 so this is m square minus 3m plus m minus 3 is equal to 0 so if i take m common this will be m minus 3 and this is again m minus 3 is equal to 0 so if i take m minus 3 common this will be m plus 1 is equal to 0 so m is equal to minus 1 for one time and 3 for another time therefore yc is equal to c1 e power minus z and c2 e power plus 3z so we have a substitution here 2x plus 1 is equal to e power z see here 2x plus 1 is equal to e power z so again back to this form so in place of e power z i am writing yc is equal to yc is equal to c1 2x plus 1 power minus 1 and c2 this is 2x plus 1 whole cube and this is equation number a and c so this is nothing but the complementary factor and now coming to the particular integral here so let us find the particular integral for this so yp value will be 
see here our yp value will be 1 by 4 theta square minus 8 theta minus 12 3 into e power z minus 3 so we have to split so yp is equal to 1 by 4 theta square minus 8 theta minus 12 3 into e power z minus 1 by this is 4 theta square minus 8 theta minus 12 into 3. So as it is a constant we can write this in the form of e power 0 z. See here so in place of theta I can substitute 1 here and in place of theta I can substitute 0. See here what happens yp value will be so this is 4 minus 8 minus 12 3 into e power z here this is 0 minus 0 minus 12 into 3 see here yp value will be so this is minus 20 minus 6 so this will be minus 16 into e power z and this is minus of minus 3 by 12 so if i cancel so this will be 4 see here yp value will be minus 3 by 16 e power z plus 1 by 4 as you know that there is a substitution here so 2x plus 1 is equal to e power z so what is e power z this is 2x plus 1 so if i keep it here then this yp value will be minus 3 by 16 this is 2x plus 1 plus 1 by 4 and see here now the general solution as you know y is equal to this is yc plus yp so this is equation number b so let us club these two for making the general solution so what is equation number a so equation a is nothing but let me write here that is c1 this is 2x plus 1 inverse and this is c2 this is 2x plus 1 whole cube this is whole cube and according to equation b so this is nothing but minus 3 by 16 into 2x plus 1 plus 1 by 4 and this is how we have to write and this is the general solution and this is the solution for legendas equation please practice definitely you can solve by your own and these videos will be helpful for your preparation please pass it on as well if, for your friends because they also need it and thank you so much for spending all all your time and attention towards this video thank you so much